Okay, so it's time to uh, group this uh, whole hair setup and copy it to into our main system. So let's just um, name this null a bit more appropriately. Null, null on maybe spline something like this. And I'm going to select this tracer, select the null and also this spline. Alt G and this is going to be our uh, hair setup. I'm just going to uh, control and C and I'm going to the uh, main scene and I'm going to just uh, disable uh, these main clones for now and um, make sure your shading is constant shading line so it's just a bit more easier to see and move around our viewport and the next thing I'm just going to control and V and Pull this hair set up down and let's uh, move it up okay and let's go here and make sure this null on spline uh, let's turn off the light so we don't see the uh, main polygons and the main poly here and if I get back to frame zero this is what we're gonna be having okay so in uh, between lessons I went ahead and actually uh, if uh, we um, go to this layer, I uh, tweaked. Uh, actually, I uh, forgot to tweak. I thought I tweaked it. Let me just go to tweak these colors a bit more and uh, be back in a second. So uh, I tweaked the colors a bit uh, and uh, some of the uh, different settings, some little tweaks to make our render a bit nicer and um, I applied this material to my tracer object and uh, let's actually uh, hit on this render view and see what we're gonna get so absolutely nothing uh, and right now we are focusing on our hair the main thing is we have to add a, a hair render and let's add this uh, hair here and put it up doesn't matter really but let's have it up and um, now that we have this hair render and I can simply uh, click on render view and see what's going on here so as you can see our hair is just um, a little bit too bright and um, what you can do to solve this problem, even though it's not too bad, but uh, it would be better if we go to the uh, actual hair render here and you get this light tab here where you can exclude and include lights because we have the GI set up on our scene. Uh, if I put this light here and exclude our, ha our uh, hair from it, now if I render, hopefully we're going to get a better render. we'll see if it uh, will kind of solve our problem or not okay so I rendered two version uh, this uh, version uh, this first one we haven't our lights being added to the exclude tab of our hair renderer as you can see it's too much bright and this version if you uh, go between them you can see there is a bit of change and this one that has our light in the exclude tab uh, gets a bit better and the next thing that I'm going to do is actually go through and change these colors a bit for example this white color to not be that bright and that should help making the a bit better effects and so this color just dim it down a bit and uh, we'll see how those work and uh, let's have another render and see how the result okay now when we desaturated the color we have uh, this render I just uh, got a few renders and I'll just show you the results here 
uh, we desaturate the colors and we get this result which is definitely uh, is a better result and I just render another uh, with the exact same setting from another view and as you can see the colors are too bright here uh, what we did uh, I went to the physical renderer down here let me just show you uh, go to the physical renderer and uh, I then uh, added a bit more quality I changed from low to medium and we had a better result but uh, still the uh, colors were too bright so we uh, went ahead to our standard renderer and we selected this and the render time uh, for the standard render as you can see we have a much more uh, better uh, kind of colors in our uh, hair here and the render time uh, when we added the uh, physical render and we uh, increased the settings as you can see basically tripled from 36 seconds to 1 minutes and 25 seconds then when we change uh, our render to standard we have this render which is the colors are more much more better even though we lose a bit of shadows but uh, I don't think they're really because we're not gonna be seeing them anyway when we apply depth of fill and stuff like that in our compositing program and then I just uh, rendered from another uh, view uh, I just changed the colors in my materials a bit to uh, these colors just dim down a bit and uh, change the colors a bit quickly and uh, I think we uh, uh, can now add a bit more colors basically maybe here in this let's see add a color like this and see how it will look like I'll just have a quick render and see how the result would be and I think just to have a quicker render I'm going to uh, disable this main clones so it get rendered a bit more quickly there we go so this is definitely a good starting point as you can see we have a better render and uh, when we do the final render we definitely uh, we're gonna come back and change the color of these hair and the a whole scene if we if the need uh, be but uh, for the moment I think we are in a good position and we can continue our lesson